Time for the music music, Matt. And we're going to talk, be talking about the psychedelic furs. Um, post-punk, glam, goth, pop <laughs> icons. <laughs> I don't know quite how to position them. Uh, a hugely influential band, and one that kind of, as the sort of distance from their original head in the 80s has kind of passed, are kind of being treated with maybe the, uh, the reverence and respect that they always deserved. They've got a new album coming out. It's called Made of Rain. It's coming out on the 1st of May, and it's their first album in nearly 30 years years Genetic. so a very long time so it's coming out on cooking vinyl on may the first and the first thing we've heard from it is called don't believe and they're going to mark marking these releases with two shows one in new york at the apollo theater what? and one on the other side of the pond at the royal abbot hall in london huh. on may the 14th and i caught up with singer from the band richard butler who i don't i've never spoken to before no it doesn't do a lot of interviews uh kind of befitting the band sort of Vaguely cult status, but uh, we talked about Tingle, we talked about their tour plans, their status in the musical firm, and also why now, after 30 years, release a new record. <laughs> Well, the band has been pretty steady uh, for a while now. The lineup has been pretty steady. And we've all been coming up with ideas. And, you know, we, we felt, you know, I mean, we, we were at first touring more intermittently than we are now. And, and, of course, you know, during, because there was such a gap that we'd taken some time off, it was kind of exciting to be playing all the old songs again. But, you know, after a while, you feel like you want to do something new, especially when we're all coming up with ideas. And it just tied in that, you know, now seemed to be the time. That's the thing about being a band like you, the, the weight of expectation is always going to be weighing heavily on your shoulders. It's unavoidable, isn't it, I guess? Yes. Yes, I suppose in, to some people we have a lot to live up to. It depends who you ask, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we that... have had our detractors, you know. <laughs> Was there an agenda? Did you sort of go into, the, uh, go into the boxing ring with an idea of exactly how you wanted this to sound? No, not really. We never did. Um, like I say, that all the musicians that are playing with us have been. We've been. We've all been playing together for a, for some years now, and uh, so everybody knows the feel of what we do. And you know, it just it just naturally turned out to to be how it is. You know, I mean, different people put in different musical ideas. I mean, everybody put in some musical ideas, pretty much. And um, you know, the ones that worked, the ones that I. I, I you know, that, that elicited some melody or response in me were the ones that we used. So it, it, it all is of a piece, in a way. Don't Believe, which is the first thing that we've heard, it's, it's, a, straight, it's a pretty aggressive squall of sort of guitar and attitude pretty much straight away, isn't it? It's not, it's not a quiet return, shall we say. No, I mean, uh, specifically, I think we chose that song because it sounded most like, you know, if, if, if people picture in their minds or ears what a, a typical psychedelic verse song sounds like. I think that might be kind of what it would sound like. That one, yeah, we chose that one not because it's, we feel like it's commercially viable particularly, but because we felt it was very, you know, archetypally psychedelic verse. In terms of the uh, inspiration, what was your what was your mindset for the lyrics for that particular track? That's the first one we've heard. My, my usual melancholic nihilism, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> the usual thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's strange. I don't I don't decide what I'm going to write about before I go ahead and write something. You know, it, it's. Uh, the music always comes first, basically. So um, I will listen to a piece of music and it puts me in a certain, you know, headspace or frame of mind or whatever. And uh, I write lyrics that reflect that headspace. So really, they're, they're you know, to, not to be too, not to put too fine a point. And I suppose it's an interior, interior dialogue in a way, and it's not to do with things that are necessarily going on that I decide to write about. It's what the music brings out in me and, and the, uh, you know, and, and the lyrics bring out from the music, in a way. I don't believe you, don't believe me, I don't believe... 
Richard Butler. Amazing. From the Psychedelic First. Well done. There you go, from down the line in New York, where he lives. New York. Yeah, so they're playing the All Abbott Hall, Psychedelic First, on the 14th of May. That new single's around now, and the album Made of Rain, the first in 30 years. It's coming out on the 1st of May. Mm, forward to checking that out.